Hi, thank you for joining Super User TV today to discuss user stories in the product working group. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Megan Rossetti. I'm with Walmart and I work on the cloud operations team. Hi, I'm uh, Kei Tokunaga from Fujitsu. I'm uh, also co-chairman of Product Working Group Regional Meeting. Great. So, what is a how is a user what is a user story and how is it used in the OpenStack community? So, the user story is a compilation of feedback from the community, from both end users and operators, and is often something that is a bit difficult to implement and needs a little bit more finesse, probably more um, cross-project coordination, and that's more of where the product working group comes into play. Well, and so, what are some of the user stories that are currently being worked on? Well, the product working group has chosen the top five user stories for Austin Summit, and one of the, uh, the user story is bare metal service. So I'll talk about that because it is the one I'm currently working on. Um, so bare metal service is needed for enterprise workload as it provides predictable and consistent performance. And we've been received, received a lot of feedback on the user story, both from uh, the product working group members, also the community members as well. And then some additional stories that we're looking at are rolling upgrades, which has been ongoing, uh, capacity management and fleet management, and HAVM availability as well. Right. So both of you work for organizations operating cloud, OpenStack clouds. What interested you particularly uh, to join the product working group? Okay, so, so there are multiple vendors who have similar directions and goals. And so they collaborate from blueprint stage, but not usually from use cases uh, stage. So although some of the vendors have the same or similar use cases, but they sometimes end up proposing different blueprints. So I thought it would be much more efficient if we could start a collaboration from the earlier stage and the product working group is the one who accomplishes this. So that's the reason why uh, we joined. For me, I've been working with the enterprise working group since the Atlanta summit in 2014. And it seemed to be a pretty natural progression into the next stage of identifying some barriers to possible enterprise adoption and some things we can do within the community to really work across teams to move the community forward. And so these user stories are being sourced from the community, the working groups, the enterprise working group, other members of the community. How can someone who's new to the community or in the community and is new to the product working group, how can they submit user stories? Well, well it's, it's a, you know, the first of all, anyone is allowed to submit user stories because we use the standard varied process, uh, which is used by all the OpenStack developers and to manage user stories. Mm -hmm. So anyone who has an account can submit user stories. Mm -hmm. And so in addition, uh, you can also provide uh, your requirements instead of submitting a user story by yourself. For example, par participating in um, like a, the operator summit, uh, it allows us to have face-to-face -face discussions across you know, all the various operators and markets. You can also participate in a working group that represents your industry. So, and then you can bring your requirements to the product working group and then eventually to the community. We have all of the detail on our wiki page, which walks through our That's meeting right. information, how to contact us, our mailing list, and some frequently asked questions as well. Great. Well, thank you for joining us again, and this was very informative. Thank you. Thank you.